Okay. Now, we're looking at the, the actual suasion die itself, okay? So when we run the ram up, you're going to notice that when a ram stops, it stops there. There's probably about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little less, a little more of a gap. And the only reason why there's that gap there is because that's where I want my ogive to stop. I can make this long bullet or short bullet, you know, as far as the bearing surface goes. I can make it any way I want. And that's the nice thing about the dies. They're, they're really flexible. So let me go ahead. And go ahead and, and set one of these up. Now you can see as I bring it up, it meets the hollow pointer, it goes into the die and it stops. And that's because it's going into the point forming operation here. As I push down on it, it sets the ogive, it puts the point on, and it puts the hollow point into the die, or into the bullet. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this out. That's nice. Let's do another one without dropping it. Now as you can see, I got a nice little hollow point here. This got the ogive set on it and the gas check seated. It's ready to go. Okay, I want to show you guys something here that I think you might find interesting. Um, on this bullet here, we have the standard gas check, right? You notice this bullet's a little shorter than the rest of them. So we have the gas check, and it covers very little burning surface. Now this guy, what I want to show you is what I used as a quarter jacket on this is a 50 caliber BMG fired primer that I annealed. It actually made a nice little bullet. And this one's not perfect, I'm still working out the details. But uh, for what it is, that's not too bad. So all I did was I took the primer, I annealed it, same way I told you before, which is um, putting it under a torch till it gets cherry red and let it air cool. And then... I put it through the core seating die, then through the swaging die, and this is what I get. These are going to be fun to test out too. Now, here's one I did not anneal, and I purposely did not anneal it. And let me get rid of these guys. And as you can see, it didn't do so well. It's too hard. That's why you have to anneal these things. So this is just some of the possibilities you can do with your own swaging dies. Now, if you really want to get kind of crazy with it, um, you probably could put one on both ends and come out with a really strange looking bullet. Now, looking at that, this is a really nice, deep hollow point. I think it'll open up real nice when it hits like gelatin or small game or self-defense, whatever, you, what have you. So, that's where I'm at, and I'm hoping to take this a whole lot further.